Hello friends, in the previous video I have taken the bond order for the less than 20 electron species. Now I would like to take the bond order for greater than 20 electron species. So first of all I want to tell you how to decide whether the species is diamagnetic or paramagnetic for greater than 20 electron. So like if we have even numbers like 22, 24, 26 etc. If we have even numbers then it will always be diamagnetic. In the case of greater than 20 electron species, this is mentioned in J.D. Lee and finding the diamagnetic and paramagnetic in the case of greater than 14, uh, 20 electron species is not in J.E. syllabus. Okay, so basically I want to tell you the definition of diamagnetic. Diamagnetic is when all the electrons are paired. So we can take the example as like this. You see that all the electrons are paired, so it is diamagnetic. For paramagnetic, it will be odd number of electrons. So it will be paramagnetic so in paramagnetic the electrons will be unpaired like this so these are so this is a paramagnetic molecule so now let's get to the concept where I have taken the bond order for greater than 20 electron species for less than less than equal to 20 electron species I have already taken in a video in the molecular orbital theory so the first example I would like to take is CO3 minus 2 okay this is a greater than 20 electron species. Basically, we will depend upon the phenomena of resonance for finding the bond order. So first of all, draw its structure. This will be the structure for CO3 minus 2. Now doing resonance, it will be CO minus double bond O, O minus. It will be like this. The next structure can be drawn as C double bond O, O minus. O minus okay so basically we are drawing the resonance structure but in layman language we can say that we are just doing the permutation and combinations for drawing the different number of structures that we can get okay but these are all the resonance structures so bond order will be the average now how to find that average take any thing which you want to be fixed like this I will fix this bond this one so you have to find, you can fix this also, it is your wish, I am fixing the top bond. So you can see that how many I am getting here, two, two bonds, one bond, one bond. So I am total getting four bonds. So how many number of structures that we have drawn, those are three. So the bond order will be four by three. We are just calculating the average. Next example that can be taken as is SO3. Now let us draw the structures for SO3, it will be like this, SO, like this. Now we can draw the resonance structures, here will be 3, C, let it be A, B, C, now A, B, C, now it will be S, double bond O, double bond O, double bond O, A, B, C. So you can fix any one which you want. I am fixing the above bond once again. The results will always be the same. So 2. So how many bonds I am getting? Bond order will be 2, 2, 2. 6 by uh, how many structures? 3 structures. So the bond order will basically be 2. Uh, the other examples that I would like to give as homework are homework you can do it yourself these are very type of easy questions SO4 minus 2 you can do or you can also do for um, CO2 etc so if there are any doubts you can ask me in the comment section this is a very easy topic and best of luck